I've got a quarter acre in Belgrade, Montana, um, out here in the country. This is a really cool property that I'm excited to roll out with you guys. My name is Miles McLaughlin here at Wilco Land. What we do is we buy and sell raw land, focusing on what we like to say unique and epic properties. So um, in this video, I'm gonna go over some FAQs. I'm gonna talk about this property. I'm gonna talk about what I know about it. We have had a site evaluation done. Um, this is really a prime location right outside of Bozeman, Montana. Um, it's gonna offer a very different type of land investment than what you're seeing in the market. You're seeing a lot of cookie cutter properties, a lot of subdivisions going up, right? Where there's five, six, 7,000 square foot lots, there's HOAs, there's covenants. You know, what makes this property so unique is we're out just outside of Bozeman, Montana, one of the probably best markets of real estate in the United States. Um, and an area I, I personally love, you've got Big Sky, Bridger Bowl. It's an awesome part of the country, right? And we're outside in the country here on this property. There's no zoning restrictions. You're going to have, you know, a country setting, yet an ability to build, you know, a residence right outside of downtown Bozeman, right? So you kind of have best of both worlds. You don't see a lot of these properties on the market. What you're seeing is, you know, people coming in and subdividing properties with covenants and HOAs and cookie cutter developments and everybody's right next to each other. This is a rare find. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm actually personally really excited about this property. Um, I'm reaching out to a builder to kind of probably look into development myself as well. So if we don't sell the property, you know, slowly over time, I may consider developing it myself. So um, I'm going to pause on this photo and just talk about the property here for a second. Um, this is what we're looking at. This this square right here, I think this is probably the, the boundary. Um, this is our photographer's car here. So I think we're looking at about this square. This is a shared driveway easement with the neighbor. OK, so. Um, that is on the property. And, and again, these are ground level views of the property, right? A country setting right outside of downtown Bozeman. Um, we have had a site evaluation done. Um, it sounds like a septic system is going to be feasible on this property. Um, obviously, you have to go through the health department and all that good stuff. But you know, everything is pointing up for this property, right? And, and I'll walk through some of that due diligence that we've done um, after we go through these photos. You've got a shelter belt in the back of the property. So let me get back to the front, um, showing you what I think is a really good depiction of the property right here. So you've got the shared driveway easement. You've got the shelter belt of trees in the backyard here. And I think the property cuts down right here. Plenty of room for a small single family home. Maybe you're going to put gravel down or maybe you have a spot for a camper and you run power to it for guests, right? If you're going to have a small build, maybe the front of your property has a site for an RV or a camper for your guests. You know, maybe you have a sauna and a cold plunge outside your property. I mean, this is a really cool opportunity. Maybe it's a, an accessory structure, um, a shop, a garage, things like that. We're, in, we're outside of city limits. You know, there's no zoning out here. You're going to have a lot of freedoms with what you can do on your property. Obviously, you know, we sell all of our property as is. You as a buyer need to make sure this is going to be the right fit for what you want to do. And the plans that you want are going to work for this property specifically. So again, I just wanted to show you one more photo here. I'm looking at a view from the street coming out. Um, so, so this is what we're looking at a quarter acre here in Belgrade, Montana. I'm going to pull up the location on a map here just to give you guys an idea where we're at. So here's Bozeman. Like I said, really, actually really close to Bozeman here. Um, from the property, you're looking at 13 miles is all right in Montana. That's, that's really nothing. I mean, these drives are beautiful, right? You've got the airport right here. Um, and you've got Belgrade. Belgrade's a great little town outside of Bozeman too. So, um, our properties right here. Let's get rid of these directions and um, give you another bird's eye view. So again, if you're unfamiliar with this part of the country, you've got Big Sky, you've got Yellowstone National Park, Bridger Bowl is another small ski area out here. Butte, Montana, as you go up into the Northwest, you're, you're in the Rocky Mountains, right? It, it really is a cool location. You've got Livingston right here as well. So and that's a really neat town too. So you can get some street views down in this main road um, and behind the property. So I'm just going to drop you down on Frontage Road. This is going to be the road you take into your property. I think that's a driveway if I'm looking at it correctly. Um, and then, you know, here's Frontage Road. This is your route, you know, down to Bozeman and back home. You know, if that's where you're going into work, if you're working remote, whatever that may be. You've got the mountain range in your backyard. Really a picturesque setting here and a unique opportunity that we just don't see on the market. I'll go through Zillow and show you some comparable sales as well at the end of this video. So for deeper dive stuff, stay tuned here. Um, you know, the next thing I wanted to show you is a site evaluation plan. You know, talking about this property, we have had a site evaluation done, right? So we've got a one bedroom home. So when it comes to septic system, we are looking at a fairly small property. So to fit a well and a septic, 
Um, we're probably looking at a one bedroom septic system. It may be feasible for a two bedroom system. It all depends on what technology exists, who you're working with. You as a buyer will have to go through that process, right? Depending on what your plans and what your needs are. So get with a builder, get with a civil engineer, you know, get with a septic designer, right? There's a lot of technology out there that may make it feasible for maybe a two bedroom system, but we know, you know, a one bedroom is definitely looking um, feasible, right? And that's what was mapped out here, right? With the drain fields and everything. So like I said, when we talk about a potential idea, when I think about an idea for the property in, in my head, what immediately comes to mind, right? You've got your shared driveway. Um, you've got your home in the back. You know, maybe you're parking underneath the house and it's loft style. Um, maybe you've got an accessory structure or a carport, um, you know, a garage next to your place. Um, maybe it's a single stall, maybe it's a double, whatever that may be. Um, that can be in here too. And maybe your, your living accommodations are our main um, bathroom on the main and kitchen on the main, right? Living room on the main and then a loft type of bedroom if you are doing that one bedroom sort of idea up top. Um, and again, you know, maybe it's a camp, maybe you have a spot for a camper outside. You put on Airbnb, you have your friends and family stay out. Maybe there's a small little tiny home um, you could put on the property just with a, with bunk beds, right? For sleeping quarters. So those are some ideas. Um, you know, anyhow, kind of moving on from that, you know, I had always envisioned maybe a sauna, you know, attached to the house or outside of it, maybe a cold plunge outside of that. But I do think that space for maybe a camper van, running power to the property for a camper, an RV, a sprinter van, something like that would be kind of a cool idea for guests um, and renting that out as well. So um, like I said, just a, just a great piece of property here in Belgrade, Montana. Um, so this site plan, 25 by 40 foot home, that's roughly a thousand square feet, right? Um, and so I wanted to bring up some site plans and talk about, you know, a thousand square feet is a lot of space. So there's a lot you can do with it. So I just got simple Google search house plans, top floor plans under a thousand square feet, right? You know, take a look at what we're seeing here. You know, I mean, these are, these are all, I mean, you can look at the square footage right here under a thousand square feet home plans. These are really cool ideas. You know, you've got your two large garage stalls right here, some living quarters on each side, right? So just wanted to browse through this and show you guys, you know, we're in the 21st century. There's a lot of technology. There's a lot of resources available to do some really cool things on properties um, and get some really unique ideas. They don't have to be massive builds, especially when you're living in a world-class location in this market. Um, you know, and I'll talk about the market here in a second. I just wanted to show you some of these floor plans. Um, I'll talk about the market here in a second. After I look at Google Earth, I'll talk about what's comparable out there. But, you know, this is an opportunity to potentially build your own idea, your dream home and the dream setup that you want for probably less than anything you can actually find in the market. And that stuff you're seeing in Bozeman is very cookie cutter. Anything affordable is very cookie cutter. So and I'll jump into comparable sales at the end of this. So, again, we're out here in a country setting. You know, your neighbors have acreages, your neighbors have farms, you know, things like that. Right. Um, these are approximate core lines here, right? I'm using parlay. It's a, it's a GIS system overlaying well, a plat map on top of Google earth. So it's not hundred percent perfect. Um, but this is a really good resource to get ideas. So you've got that shared easement right inside the property. Um, and you've got, you know, if I were to draw out, like I said, your building pockets, again, these are kind of approximations. Let's just draw this section out back here. Um, you've got, I mean, just even that last section of the property is a 10th of an acre, you know, 2,700 square feet is this section, right? And, and that doesn't really account for, you know, let's say you want a little bit of space. I mean, let's say we did something with a little bit of a backyard there, built on the side. I mean, so you can get, I mean, there's a lot you can do with a property like this, even with a lot of space, we're looking at 2,400 square feet there. So, so again, I mean, this is a, a property, let's just look at the length and width here too. So if I were to start here and go to about that shared easement, that driveway, I think it's a 20 foot um, shared easement. That's about 44 feet right there. Even if you had a 10 foot buffer, that's about 34 feet. Um, if you're thinking about a football field, um, that's about 15, a first down and a half, you know, 15 yards a long ways. Um, and so and looking at the back of the property, right? If we were to go to front from back here, that's obviously, you're going to be no worries there, about 60 yards or 180 feet. So those are the dimensions of the property. I'm going to jump into comparable sales now um, to end the video. Um, so I've got a, 
I've drawn over Belgrade and Bozeman and, and I just wanted to, to show you some comparable sales and just talk about this a little bit more. So I'm going to sort price low to high. This is a, this is a, an easement. I mean, this is a, this is a $90,000. I mean, this is how hot this real estate market is. They're advertising a, um, it's an ingress egress to a subdivision. I mean, I think they're advertising this plat of concrete. I mean, there's nothing here, you know, uh, there's really nothing you can do with that property. And then what you've got these little lots, like I said, some cookie cutter subdivision and they're advertising 5,000, 5,600 square foot lots, you know, for 145,000 bucks. I mean, there'll be, like I said, there'll be um, a bunch of rules and regulations to what a person can and cannot do on their property. And I don't think that's what a lot of people are looking for. Okay, a 7,000 square foot lot. I don't see much, anything special about this, you know, for 161,000 bucks. Again, 143 single family lots identical to this, identical, that will come with rules and regulations, right? It's a tenth, it's a much smaller too, you know, that'll come with more than likely, I guess I'm guessing this will come with, you know, rules and regulations to what you can and cannot build, what you can and cannot do on your property, right? And, Another 5,000 square foot lot. Again, you can't park a camper on this property. You can't, you know, there's tangible use to our property right now to go use it with camper, to go put a shed on it, to go put a storage unit on it. Like that, that exists for this property today. You can't do that on these in-town lots with city limits and restrictions and HOA rules and, and restrictive covenants. You know, this is 5,000 square feet going for 170 in a cookie cutter subdivision. You got one, you got one or two things you can do. You could probably have two home types. You get with the same builder and there's two types of homes they build back here. And that's what folks are doing, you know, and they're right next to each other. So, I mean, those are our comparable sales, right? Again, some sort of ranch, again, with restrictions and regulations. If we get beyond these kind of cookie cutter lots, again, a 5,000 square foot lot, Cherry Drive and Bozeman, 200,000. I mean, I've got to go to page two or three probably to find anything. This might be comparable for 300,000, 8,000 square feet. Um, Cattail Creek is a neighborhood. Um, it's 1.18 acres. So again, I mean, it's to me, the lot we're advertising is, is extremely unique to the market and far superior. Maybe this is a good comparable sale. This is a cool property on Blackmore and Bozeman. I think this is pretty cool. Um, does it come with that? I don't know. Um, but this is a pretty cool lot, it looks like. I mean, same size as ours. This looks nice. This looks more private, you know, maybe without all the restrictions um, that come with it. So, I mean, that that's a nice property. That's, that's a lot more than what we're asking for ours. So, like I said, what we do at Wilco is we buy and sell land as is. You know, and I'll end the video with a disclaimer, just talking about, you know, hey, this isn't legal advice. This isn't real estate advice. This is a due diligence I've done. I'm sharing my thoughts and opinions and my my research and knowledge that I've done on the property with you. You as a buyer are going to be responsible to perform your own due diligence and make sure the property is right fit for you. You know, at Wilco, we do sell all of our land as is. We can offer um, and guarantee a free and clear title, right? We're going to guarantee a marketable title. We do a lot of due diligence in-house. Um, but you as a buyer ultimately need to, make, need to make sure it's the right property for you. Um, and so just get with me if you want to chat high level on it. Um, I do have other properties out here in Montana, Hot Springs, Montana, Wolf Creek. Um, I've got property up in Gold Creek Lakes at, at elevation, you know, eight, 9,000 feet elevation. Great. It totals 100 acres, this property right here. Um, these are three adjacent lots I would sell together individually. These are actual views from the property. This is up at an area called Gold Creek Lakes, just south of Drummond, Montana, just north of Phillipsburg. Really a special area and a, and a unique and special land investment. So um, again, get with me if you have any questions. If you want to talk land in Montana, Idaho, South Dakota, wherever it may be, um, we do a lot of land deals across the Western United States. So um, my name is Miles McLaughlin here at Wilco Land. Give me a call at 605-250-1256 if you want to chat more. Thanks for tuning in.